it was about six, seven weeks ago that the, I was first approached by the High Commissioner for Mozambique and London and uh, he said that uh, he would like to come up here and discuss the possibility of a conference. So yes, it's been a very short time in which to pull together what's become a, a fairly important conference uh, with the President and five ministers coming from Mozambique as well as our retinue of 24 high-ranking high officials and another 24, 25 uh, support people. The SDI, um, who are our partners in the North East Scotland Trade Development Partnership, as well as the Chamber of Commerce here in Aberdeen, have been focusing on the Mozambique opportunity for the last 24 months. There are fantastic prospects uh, in relation to Mozambique, but I'd have to say there are fantastic prospects around the world. It, much of it depends on the regime that is put in place in relation to taxation, in relation to local content, and the pathway that Mozambique choose in relation to developing their gas industry. And the Aberdeen companies, quite rightly, weigh up the opportunities and they look at which is the best area to go to to spend their money and get a return. So that comes into it as well. But at the same time, we'll, we'll, we'll be advising um, the, the Mozambique team as to what they best need to do in terms of balance between getting the best for their local companies. We've been very lucky here in Aberdeen. Uh, we've got a fantastic industry now, over a thousand in the supply chain that leads the world. And of course, other places want to follow that success and they want to maximise the benefits for their own countries. But in doing so, they must choose a pathway that will they'll be a win-win for them. The importance of the conference is, is, is very significant. Um, I think, you know, the Mozambiques tell us it's this is the largest ministerial group to come to, to Europe in terms of energy or anything to do with industry. And to come to Aberdeen directly is huge significance. And I think sometimes we in Aberdeen don't recognise this the level at which we operate in world terms. And Aberdeen really is a leader. It's a world energy hub now. And that is different from 10, 15 years ago. We've made huge strides forward. The important thing for us is to continue to capitalise on that and look at some of the weaknesses. And we have some that we need to be able to deal with to ensure that we can continue to capitalise on those opportunities.